Hello again. It's Sandy from the St. Catharines Public Library with the answer to yesterday's local history quiz. So keep on watching. The answer to yesterday's local history quiz is fact. Coy Brothers Hardware was always owned by Frank Coy. Many of us will likely have fond memories of shopping or browsing at Coy Brothers Hardware in downtown St. Catharines. But did you know that it was owned by one family for 141 years and of note was operated by a Frank Coy for all those years? Francis Coy opened a hardware store in partnership with James Benson on St. Paul Street in 1850. That partnership lasted until 1855 when Coy bought out Benson and became the sole owner of Coy's, later Coy Brothers, hardware store. Tragically, Francis Coy died in the store itself. Someone left the trap door to the basement open and Coy fell through it, breaking his neck. As a result of the accident, Frank E. Coy took over the business, soon to be joined by his son Frank R. Coy around 1910. Frank R. Coy took over the store when his father died in 1930. Coy's hardware appears to have moved a number of times through the years, but by the late 1860s it was located in a three-story building on St. Paul Street and Halliwell's Lane and remained there until 1922. In 1922, Coy's moved into a new building they built for themselves at 14 James Street, with sellers eventually moving into the St. Paul Street address that Coy's had vacated. Frank A. Coy became the fourth owner of Coy's Brothers Hardware when his father died in 1935. He was joined by his sons Frank and Jim, and ultimately the last son to manage the store was Frank F. Coy, who with his wife Gail operated the store until 1991. The demise of Coy Brothers was blamed on the rise of shopping malls, the economic recession, and cross-border shopping. Since its beginnings in 1850, Coy's grew steadily in size and type of merchandise offered for sale. It is likely in the early days many of the large homes built in St. Catharines obtained finishing and hardware from the store. There was a large demand for carriage parts and blacksmith supplies as well. In the 20th century, Coy's retained a more complex and extensive hardware department and at one time had the largest housewares department in the Niagara District. In 1939, Coy Brothers Toyland came into existence, operating in the basement of the building. Of great interest were the large number of tin and lead soldiers that were displayed in battle scenes. In 1978, Coy's acquired the fabric shop next door and designated it as Coy's number two. Displays of plants, wicker furniture, brass and copperware were added. My husband and I remember the toy soldiers in battle scenes. My sister remembers a large number of stuffed animals. Coy Brothers was such a fixture for so many years in downtown St. Catharines. Why don't you share your memories of the store? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to join us next Wednesday for another local history quiz. Until then, stay healthy.